Hewitt Technology is a Spanish uh, engineering company based in Madrid that focuses on computer fluid dynamics and improving the shape of objects for a better performance, regardless if it's uh, uh, energy consumption or uh, aerodynamics themselves. And within that, we have a very strong focus on vertical wind tunnels for indoor skydiving. We are very focused on optimization using CFD and we have our design part of the project and then of course the simulation part of the project which may or may not involve transient calculations, optimization. We have to understand the geometry, the needs of our customer, we have to parameterize the geometries, we have to understand what the trade-offs are that they want to reach, what the key performance indicators are for the case and therefore the accuracy they need can only be met with tools such as Ansys and a partner such as Compute. worked for the uh, industrial sector first, to the energy sector for customers such as Foster Wheeler for example. Then we apply the same CFD and optimization algorithms for vertical wind tunnels that we design and develop for this indoor skydiving industry. And then finally we've also applied the technology to reduce the energy consumption of water slides in theme parks for a top manufacturer. Basically, we're always looking into new business opportunities. We're not only an engineering or a consultancy company, but we're always looking into new business opportunities of the fields we're working on. And in this case, we were looking into the um, options of introducing one of these big inflatable poles to be able to enhance the experience that you have when you're flying inside one of these wind tunnels. The competitive advantage we find using ANSYS CFD tools is the fact that we rely on the accuracy of what we obtain and we are able to perform very quickly the simulations they expect us to do. One thing which makes us different from other companies is that we validate our models against real physical prototypes and we've been very happy and surprised to learn how accurate we uh, can obtain all kinds of results when we are performing simulations with ANSYS.